Hi, Creek Kids. Pastor Dave here again. Hey, have you ever ridden one of those wiggle cars where you put your feet up on it, sit down, and you wiggle the steering wheel for it to move? That was the first time I had ever ridden one. And what's cool is if you turn the steering wheel around backwards and wiggle it, you go in reverse. That's really neat. Now, let's imagine for a second that we're army generals or air force generals in the military or navy admirals and our job is to go beat the enemy but we don't have any tanks we don't have any airplanes or ships how are we going to beat the enemy they have ships and airplanes and they have tanks and they are so many in number and we have only wiggle cars is that a very fair fight I don't think so. But you know what? We have the Lord. The Lord is on our side. That's what happened in the Word of God many times. God said, when you look at the enemy, don't look at their chariots and horses. They didn't have planes and ships and tanks back then. They had horses and chariots that they used in battle. And God said, don't look at those horses and chariots and think, that you can't win the battle because I am with you. Listen to what the psalmist said about that in Psalm 20, verse 7. He says, Some trust in chariots and some trust in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. You see, God doesn't want us to trust in things. Now, it's not bad to have things. Hey, I tell you what, I was in the Air Force and I was glad we had jets and we had proper weapons to beat the enemy. God wants us not to trust in those things. He wants us to use them to the best of our ability, but he wants us to trust in him. And he said, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. Aren't you glad that Jesus came to take away our sins? and that he has promised that he will always be with us, even when it feels like our only weapon is a wiggle car. How silly. God bless. I hope we will see you here this weekend. And if we don't see you here, we'll see you online. God bless.